Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Rome Total War Remastered. Here today on the channel, we're back with episode 3 of my Macedonian campaign. Here today, we're going to be starting the invasion of Italy. We're going to be retaking our former settlement of by Lazora, and I've got another army heading down to Sparta to pick up some fresh recruits and eventually make its way to the rebel-occupied territory of Crete. So, we've currently got all of Greece under our control. I've sent my son and heir, Gyraz, to Thrace. After the Thracians bribed by Lazora, they've put a pretty decent garrison there by the looks of it. In the last episode, we threw back a Brutii army and we killed three of their family members. So, we're going to push upon the initiative and try and get rid of the Brutii. Okay, so Antigonus, 58 years of age, 5 star command. We have 7 regions under our control. We have 550 turns to become the supreme ruler of Rome and have 50 settlements, which is quite a lot, but definitely doable. We're at war with all the Roman families and Senate, the Greeks and the Thracians. Here's the family tree. Antigonus, my heir Gyraz, and next in line is... Uh... I always struggle with this name. Aloes. That's how you say it. Okay, well, let's siege and t try and take Tarentum. Let's start the Macedonian and Roman Wars. Now, Titus Brutus here has a lot of war dogs, which is annoying. We'll build up some siege equipment. And if we have to take it in a siege, we'll do it. So, there's a lot of Thracians here. I'm just trying to think how I should enter. So, I think getting my secondary army to besiege by Lazor is the play. And then we'll try and... Oh, I want to try and fight this army outside, but is it going to keep on running? No, they're going to stand and fight. We'll fight this one. Uh, there's only 1,300 against our 3,000. But it'll be a good chunk of their army gone. So let's battle the Thracians for the first time. Now trouble begins. We did not seek war, but we are facing battle and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's hearts. Call to the heavens, sons of Greece, and fight with honor! Okay, let's get stuck into them. A lot of trees. It's a very thickly wooded area. So in this army build, we have... What is that? Six units of cavalry. Two Peltast's unit, units. The rest made up of... Pikes, so yeah, just a lot of coverage there. I'm gonna hold spacebar a lot in this battle, just so I can see through it. But nothing too challenging that the Thracians have thrown at us. Just a simple pike spam, which is manageable. We'll try and close the distance with our own pikes. We might even be able to get some. Skirmishes up. I don't want to draw a line there. And we'll try and flank around with our cavalry as best we can. I really want to emphasize skirmishes and cavalry in our army builds. That's what's really going to carry us to victory. Skirmisher, Peltas slash archery spam, and cavalry. Pikes are really good defensively. So we can be a little bit more ambitious when we conquer. So I've currently got what two and a half stacks with the entirety of Greece under my control and we're fighting on a two pronged front because I'm just so confident in our defensive ability even if we do get caught and attacked by multiple armies. Defensively we're just so more sound. The Romans are great in my Scipii campaign. Like if the thing is Greece attacking Thrace and, and Rome this early on is a lot easier than 
attacking with the Romans, I think. Like the Romans invading Greece. Because you just have to do so many sieges. Tarentum and southern Italy is nowhere near as built up. Oh, they're going to turn it, pull out there. Uh, a couple of them were lost. I'm just trying to get a good opening with my cav here, but they're moving in and out of their pike position quite well. We might be able to catch their gen uh, their general unit there, though, if we're lucky. Throwing the cavalry all there. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I, I, I think it's easier to, let's say, for example, we kill the general. They're good stuff. It's probably easier for us to take Tarentum with pikes than it is for the Romans to take, let's say, Corinth with the starty. That was the point I was trying to make. Okay, I want to just try and give out attack orders with all my pikes to lock in the Thracian pikes in place, and we'll swing around there. But I'm really quite surprised that the Thracians went and did that. They must have upped to the bribe rate of... Oh, hang on. My heir was getting attacked. They needed to get back. He lost about 20 or so. I thought he might have died. <laughs> Close one. Nearly losing Gyraz. Reform the line. Continue to put pressure on them. Yeah, because the Thracians are a lot further back. Taking my settlement by Lazora gives them a really good footing in the north. So, we've sent one full stack to deal with the Thracians. We've got a uneasy alliance with the Dacians for now, but the enemy of my enemy is my friend. The Thracian pikes in the right-hand side are now in a full retreat. There are still a fair few standing their ground. It's just going to be difficult if we are going to send cavalry in. We just need to be careful. Let's allow those pikes to now advance. And we'll try and eliminate the Brutii because they should only have two settlements, if I'm not mistaken. We've killed three out of their potential six family members. I wouldn't have been so gung-ho into invading the peninsula if they were just going to sit back and be quite docile and passive. I was quite happy to focus on the Far East, but I feel like we should go against them. Let's speed things up here now and try and completely and utterly destroy this Thracian host. Because then we'll try and retake by Lazora and... We'll have the siege or battle for Tarentum. So we'll do two battles here today. Okay. So, yeah, it's really. There are some rebel territories in Crete and Salonia. The Dacians, and as we push further east, I guess Pontus is probably our only threat. The Greek city states we're still at war with. So we have Syracuse. And Helicarnassus, I would imagine, under their control. So, I think sort of east and west. Rather than too far... No, not going too far north is probably the play. Because the Roman Peninsula is a good grab if you can get it. I wonder what sort of power vacuum it's going to cause <laughs> if we can defeat the Romans early on. It is a legitimate strategy to rush them, but... I mean, no... Well... Haste to do so. They are the best three factions. So can I end this now? Or do I just have to wait for them to run away? I don't want to, like, risk a loss for it to bug out or something. There's only a couple of small units there making their way to the border. And we've clearly won. So we lost 100 men. Man, oh man, we wiped out 1.3k. We sniped the general really early on. And the Thracians ran away with their tail between their legs. After the war is over, make alliances. A Greek proverb. Okay, we've already made alliances earlier before the war. <laughs> but anyway, that's probably the major threat of the Thracians at Bylozora. We should be able to retake it and, and punish the populace for rebelling and going away from the Macedonian sphere of influence. Okay, back over to Italy now. So we're still sieging out Tarentum. I could maybe get my spy in. Oh, and they've opened the gates. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? Um, okay, so we can attack them now this turn, straight after the Thracian fight. So they're coming in as reinforcements. We can do a night battle, but that's still going to bring them in. 
I, I love how he's spamming Warhounds. We actually are not favored to win this one. It's probably 60-40 in their favor. We do outnumber them numerically, but they probably outnumber us with Doggos. Outnumber us with the Doge. All right, I guess we'll, we'll fight this one on the battlefield against Vibius Brutus. Before night comes, this battle will be done. Whether the day goes well or not is in our hands. Brave sons of Greece, fight well and earn the favor of the gods. Now then, look to your front, mark your target, and let them worry about you. Okay, let's siege out Tarentum. I kind of don't believe the RNG of that <laughs> to, to get in there. Right, let's reform things up. Now, this is going to be an interesting fight because we have to deal with two armies. We have two units of archers, most of us made up of pikes, but we have a lot of cavalry. Eight units two of the companion cavalry not at full strength so what we'll do is we'll split the pikes into groups of attack so we'll check like three here because there's probably only three entrances that we can go from so like you here try and get into the the city as quickly as possible then we'll be able to hold it down from the reinforcing army there's a general inside and only a couple units but the main problem we have to deal with is the warhounds depending on where they spawn from so, we'll move you here just in case we need to get to the other side of the map. And they are. Because I doubt they were going to spawn behind me from where we deployed. So, we'll quickly try and get everyone in. We'll move the general up. There's actually a free path inside here. And same with here. So, just try and get there as quickly as possible. Right, we are going to headstrong charge these war dogs. Pikes are actually quite good against war dogs if you hold a narrow position. Some people like to suicide peasants into war dogs and then allow archers to burn them up. We're going to try and stampede them. So we're going to send literally 600 cavalry to try and mow them down while they're moving. Because we don't want them in the town square. They would just rip our pikemen alive. So we'll try and destroy them. I don't know if this is going to work. I hope it does. We'll send... 600 cavalry against the warhounds. My archers are going to try and skirmish off the units holding. And we are struggling to push in even with the pike formation there. Some of our hoplites have made it. And we'll give out some attack orders against the the war dogs. Because they are incredibly... Well, they're pretty cheesy and exploit unit if you spam them early on and build the requisite melee improvement in armor buildings. We're gonna charge for victory or defeat. That reminds me this charge of Stannis past the wall. So quickly pick a war dog unit and charge in. I want to see if this is even gonna work. We should be able to stampede them. Like a good charge against them should be alright. Bring them down. Run them over. And already we are losing a handful, 20, 30 or so of our cavalry, but it looks like we've already made the war dogs go into a full retreat. High risk, high reward. So, hopefully they have now been neutralized and we can move into the town square, because if we got hit by war dogs in, in the rear and in the city... So... It seems to have worked. We've managed to absolutely shred the war dog host. However... We have lost 200 of the cavalry, but it seems to have worked. There seems to be a fair few, fair few doggos on the ground. Okay. So where that unit was, we're actually struggling to get in. Now we just need to get into the town square and hold. Like form up here, so... Getting caught reorganizing the pikes is going to be the issue. 
But once we've taken Durantum, we're laughing. We can chill here in Brundisium and in the south. We can replenish and repair. Okay, they've... Oh, they've probably caught us there. Uh, they're probably gone. They couldn't get their pikes down. That's infuriating. I didn't see that unit until the last minute. The form up against those Astarte. Okay, so my cavalry can come on in now. But it looks like the fall of the Brutii is inevitable. We've liberated, hopefully soon, the Greek populace. Like, if there was a, a demographic breakdown, I think there'd be a lot more... Obviously, there'd be Sarmatians and Italian allies, a couple Latins, but I think there would still be... I think we've been caught there. Crap. A large Greek population as Tarentum, Taurus. The city was originally founded by Spartan vassals, which is really cool. In the early days of the Roman Republic. Let's move in here. Damn it. Yeah, I just didn't form up with them properly. That's so annoying. That's why these guys just need to get in and form up properly and then you'll be fine. They just got caught in transition of moving the pikes down and, and forming up. Uh, it might be a blessing in disguise here because maybe their general unit's going to get baited into our cavalry, which might have blindsided them around the street. Yeah, throw in my cavalry against theirs. Let's get rid of their general unit. If we're lucky. That might have worked. Equites versus Macedonian Cavalry. I would imagine would be quite close. It would be quite competitive. We should be able to win that because we have the numbers. This time around now we formed up into a decent formation. These guys are struggling to get in. Let's move. And Tignos in. Okay, that's a bit better. Hitting those War Dog... Handlers, I guess that's what they are, now that they don't have dogs. Okay, that should be the last of the Roman general, hopefully. He's routing. Yeah, this is what we want. We want the Romans to hit us when we're in a, a solid situation. Look at that. So they're, they're... Oh, they're actually breaking. Oh my god. We'll charge in the rear. That might win it. Quite a costly... Battle for Tarentum, a little bit tricky, a lot of moving parts, but I, I still think we're going to be able to be victorious here today. Because those are the pikes in our holding. They are probably going to fight to the death, but we'll drop a rally there. We should be alright, just a full go now. My cavalry... Took a bit of a battering, but luckily Tarentum is one of the larger cities that starts in the Italian peninsula, so there goes the general. We should be able to re replenish and repair quite well. And there they go. There go the Brutii. There's only one more general left. If we were lucky, we might have been able to destroy the house without even taking their last settlement. The Macedonians... Have destroyed the line of Brutus. We lost a thousand against theirs. Crikey. We're conquering, but at a cost. So, Tarentum is now ours. And we can just chill here. We'll eventually make our way to Crotona. Um, I kind of want the Denarii, but 5,000 pop around Greece is not a bad proposal. Yeah, so we'll enslave them. Uh, Religious-wise as well, it's a lot easier for the Greeks, the Macedonians, because of the Greeks, and I think Thracian has the same gods as us, maybe even like Pontus as well. So, we've taken Tarentum, good start, two good battles today. Okay, so, we're going to hold in Tarentum now, which is fine. Unfortunately, we've been attacked there by the Brutii Navy. Clear defeat. We'll give them a victory. 
Okay, so what have they got left down in Cretona? Marriage celebrated. Agent found Thrace. Nothing in the notifications. There's nothing really always too much of interest. I wonder if we can actually get in now <laughs> with our spy <laughs> for a secondary time. I'm going to try and move... Oh, damn it. I was going to say, I'm going to try and move my fleet to Tarentum and, and sit them in there. Okay, we'll allow you to go south. Abriez. Gairaz. And his son, the future prince can take by Lazora now and will enslave okay so then from this position we'll try and throw down the remaining Thracians there so I guess we head to Byzantium and the territory further to the north or we've regained the border with the Dacians I'm quite happy that alliance went through to be honest with the Dacians we definitely need it. I have no ambitions over the Danube. Okay, it's time to march out and take Cretona. And put the final nail in the Brutii coffin. So, Tiberius Brutus, the faction leader. The last family member. Unfortunately, it failed there, which isn't good. We're going to have to end the turn and siege them out. I've sent another army to take Salonia, because it's still rebelled. And we'll make our way further, encroaching into Thracian territory. We're building watchtowers and stuff as well. Okay, down in the south, you're nearly heading your way to Crete. Only a couple of small Thracian armies here and there. But Gairaz can push further north as well. More of an annoyance than anything. Okay. We're currently at the port of Sparta. We want to try and take Crete as quickly as possible. It's got a really good wine resource. I'd recommend going for Crete as quick early as you can. We just got <laughs> I'm gonna get carried away with all these other wars going on. So we're building a stone wall in Tarentum because we want to try and consolidate and hold our position. Our spy opened the gates anyway. And Cornelius Brutus has just come of age. How unfortunate. War to resolve this one. Because we've played enough against the Brutii. And that's it. We'll enslave the last one. The House of Brutii is no more. Good Greek courage has laid these people down. And that's it. The Brutii are no more. I don't know if they can actually come back in this campaign. Like, if any of the Roman factions retake Crotona or Tarentum. Like, can they bring them back? We've got a shrine of Demeter here. Uh, my s diplomats are currently in German and... Cretona territory. So it looks like Sicily is still in a battle royale. Scipii, Carthage, and the Greeks hold the territory. So I might actually move my spy south because we might need to push towards Masana. Okay, it's time to head over to Crete now with my army. Uh, I'm trying to think, should we just embark there or just like go straight for it? Go close up. Whoa, did we just get ambushed? You were taken completely by surprise. Crikey. Average victory. That could have been a close one. I haven't had... Whoa, I haven't been ambushed in Rome Total War Remastered. Yeah. I guess that was a little bit of a bait. I thought taking Crete would have been really quite easy. But as you can see now, we've got the crucial wine resource. We eventually want to try and get a shrine to Demeter. That's what I'm going with in this save and ports for the money. Okay, so Crete is now under our control. Uh, Corinth is a little bit unhappy. Some of the Greek mainland territories aren't happy because of just the influx of Roman slaves. Um, okay, god, these order resolves are so harsh. On very hard, very hard. I don't like playing every single battle. I do tend to order resolve more, but <laughs> it's just costly. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the th wow, the Thracians have a full stack in Salonia. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, we should be able to take Salonia now and bring Illyria into the fold. There's even slaves and gold there. Salonia, a notorious 
pirate territory. Okay. We might be able to negotiate with the Germans here. Trade rights and map information I'm always willing to offer proposal. from the great empire of Macedonia. We see no I guess we're still a kingdom because we have a king. But we are turning into a great empire. We've managed to meet Parthia in the Far East in Susa. I don't know how we would trade because they probably don't have a port. Oh, they could have a port in Armenia. You just don't know. Like a most generous proposal. On the sea. No, no, they're not interested in alliance. Um, okay, I've actually ran into a Spanish diplomat dining out with the Gauls. So I'm going to use this opportunity to try and get trade and map because I was probably heading to Britannia next, not the proposal. Spain for quite some time. I love diplomats in the original Rome. Okay. Let's negotiate with Britannia now. We're doing a lot of diplomacy at the moment. Over the last couple of turns. As so I'm consolidating my position. Trade map for map. We're sort of getting a picture a most generous proposal. of the world. No one is really overextended and expanded and conquered. Maybe the Germans slightly. Tylus, we're currently besieging with two armies of Macedon. And there's not much of a garrison in sight. So we'll auto resolve this one. We've already played a really good battle against the Thracians in the open field. A clear cut siege isn't going to entice me. And we'll send slaves back to Greece. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with Spartacus. <laughs> Sending Macedonian slaves back. Okay, Corinth is a little bit unhappy, so we're going to have to drop the taxes there. Uh, we're just building traders, upgrading government buildings. Construction-wise, we're fine. Oh, no! Antigonus is no more. The conqueror of Greece. And... I guess the Brutii. And southern Italy is no more. Gyraz, 43. Seven-star command has risen to the throne. 13 regions controlled. So, uh, my brother. Damos. Has been declared the heir. Hmm, so it wasn't going to my son. That's interesting. Well, do I go down command and the better commander gets it or should we go down male preference primogenitor and sort of go down the medieval line of divine right? I think we'll mix things up. We did that with the Roman campaign. Yeah, so I think we'll name my son the heir. The only consequence is... Essentially, my brother will be a little bit jaded with the with the choice. Hmm. Yeah, because he's probably naturally the better commander. But my son can be one day. 61, Antigonus. After the conquest and holidaying in southern Italy, he decided to give up the ghost. Okay. What I think I'll do is I'll name my son and heir Alois as the future king of Macedon and I'll bypass my brothers of Eunice and Damazos. I think that's how Damazos. Some of these Greek na names are quite difficult to pronounce. So we'll disinherit him. Yeah. And then we'll follow down the male line of Alois as well. If not, it will go to my second born son. Armenia have Hatra. Do they normally have that? They seem to be in a rather good situation from previous map information we've gotten from someone. So we probably really don't need it, but I'd, I would like the trade with the Armenians. Okay, I think it's time to wrap episode 3 up here today. So this is where we currently 
stand. So we've got Greece and Crete under our control. We've taken Tylus and Bylazora. I've sent our new faction leader Gyraz to besiege Byzantium, which we'll try and take in the next. I have more reinforcements going to join him. After taking Salonia, Tarentum, and Catrona, I think we're in a good enough position to push into Sicily and take Masana. I think pushing into Sicily is probably not a bad idea, as we are at war with the Greeks as well, so we can take that Greek territory. The problem is, if we go into Sicily, we might dry, uh, drag the eye of Carthage, but historically Carthage and Macedon had really good relations, so hopefully we can get an alliance with them, and then we can push up to Capua, and that probably should be the end of the Scipio eye? I, I don't know. It depends who occupies and holds... Sardinia and and Corsica, but it's still going to be quite some time before I'm probably going to march on Rome. I'd imagine there's probably two, three full stacks of the Senate, so would need a decent position and stronghold in Italy and Sicily before we even think upon marching against them. So still continuing on our western front against the Romans and our eastern against the Thracians. So. Let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions, where, where you want me to expand and conquer. We might even, once we get rid of the Thracians once and for all, uh, might cross over to Asia Minor, like Alexander, and finish off the last of the Greeks, which I imagine they've probably got Rhodes, Halicarnassus, and a couple of other uh, Asia Minor holdings. We want to try and secure those wonders. So, unfortunately, guys, we've got to wrap things up. Thanks once again, and I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. <laughs>